uh, your, your dad, I was reading about him. Is it true that he's like a Top Gun graduate naval like aviator? Is that true? Uh, yes, that uh, that happened. He went to the Naval Academy, finished in, I think, 1990. And then it was part of his part of his flight training to be a Top Gun instructor. So he had to do that. And I think after you graduate, you have the choice to whatever it is, be an instructor, go into active duty for X amount of years. And that's what he did. Um, he flew F-18s and F-14s for a long time. Um, he did opening day flyover 2004 in Atlanta. So he was part of the diamond of the F-18s flyover and uh, he was late. <laughs> so he was like four or five feet out of position in the diamond as they were coming over center field. <laughs> So, like, that boy. <laughs> um, but, yeah, that was just – yeah, that was just – it didn't seem like anything crazy at the time. It was just what he did. You know, it was what we grew up with and what we learned to, like, just learn to experience. And, yeah, now now when you look back at it, it's a whole lot cooler, like, as far as putting yourself out there for protecting other people's freedoms and putting your life and your family's life in, in the line of danger when, you know, some people – or like really content hiding behind a internet profile and saying things, you know? So that's just, that's just where we're at with things as a whole, but yeah, he, he put in 20 years in the military and uh, yeah, he could have played pro ball, decided that his calling was to go into the service. And, you know, that's, uh, that's how he wound up with, you know, with my mom and with myself and Josh. I love that. I, I live in Annapolis down the street from the Naval Academy. So it's, mm. I'm a big big Navy guy, but like, what was that like growing up? Like, did you have to move around a lot? Like, what was it like having him not there for long periods? Was that, was that hard? Um, you know, it was just, it was just a thing, you know, like we, I was born in Virginia beach and then we moved into, we moved to Atlanta in 2001, September 11th, 2001, we moved into our house, which is crazy. Um, he did a couple different places while we were there and we didn't go with him. And then we did go to Newport, Rhode Island. <clears throat> so he could finish up his master's degree at the war college in Newport. And then we actually moved back into the same house in Atlanta. He did Iraq in 2007, I believe. And, um, or maybe 2008. And yeah, that was a little shorter than it was supposed to be. I think it was supposed to be nine months. It wound up being seven. Um, but yeah, it was just, I don't know. It was just one of those things as far as like, all right, well, you know, dad's gone, but mom's here and Josh and I are here and we still got to do what we got to do. And then my grandma was there too. My mom's mom was around. My dad's parents were around. It was, uh, yeah, it was just one of those things, you know? Well, I'm so curious, uh, you know, obviously with Top Gun Maverick coming out, what, what was his view and what's kind of the family's view on the, on the Tom Cruise movies about that? <laughs> well, he's got the first one memorized. Um, <laughs> You know, <laughs> there are no line. There are no lines in that movie that, like, you know, I've never heard before or get referenced in a regular conversation or like get pulled out of nowhere. You know, um, so yeah, I, I I don't know if he's excited for the new one. I've heard some pretty good things about the new one. You know, I it's just from reading blogs and things like that. But you know, I maybe get over there and see it. We get a we got a day gate coming day game coming up in the next couple days i can sneak over there for an afternoon and see what's up but yeah i don't know i'm excited i just hope they didn't cgi everything too much and make these f-18s flip upside down do all this crazy shit you know i saw it over the weekend it is i don't think i've seen anybody say anything bad about it Uh, okay so it's it's amazing brian do you get american movies in japan are you gonna go see top gun i think there's one spot that i can go see it and i may I actually may go see it because it does. It does. Look, I mean, the previews are pretty good. 